Is POHA blood sugar friendly? With PCOS and insulin resistance, I'm always looking for meals that keep my glucose steady. So today, I'm having a plate of POHA for breakfast made with 50 grams of POHA along with some peanuts and green peas. I haven't added any sugar or potatoes to it and this portion comes to around 450 calories in total. I'm tracking my blood sugar using a continuous glucose monitor. So let's check my readings after a few hours. So here's what my CGM recorded. My blood sugar increased by 45 mg per deciliter after this meal and took 2.5 hours to return to baseline. So is this a good or bad spike? With insulin resistance, my goal is to keep my post-meal spike under 40 to 50 mg per deciliter and return to baseline within 2.5 to 3 hours. In this case, the spike was within my target range but still on the higher side. It wasn't extreme but definitely noticeable. So what's wrong with this meal? Poha is a processed carb that spikes glucose quickly and the meal lacks protein and fiber for balance. On the plus side, poha is made from parboiled rice which increases its resistance starch and lowers its GI. Peanuts and peas add protein and fiber while skipping the potatoes and sugar helps reduce the spike. Overall, poha caused a moderate spike. Not the worst but still needs protein and fiber for balance. Let me know what you think in the comments below.